Kuala Lumpur is a city with approximately 1.6 million inhabitants. With a booming economy, the number is still growing. A multicultural society, this young and dynamic population is a melting pot of raw talent that's eager to make it big in the motorsports world. Cut to Zamri Baba, a 28-year-old Negri Sambilan lad making his mark in the Two Wheels Motorsports Arena in Southeast Asia. That's right, Will. Zamri Baba has made a name for himself in motorsports, especially here in Malaysia. Fans go wild at the mere mention of this passionate rider. And today, I, Julie Woon, have been given the special honour of dissecting his brain right here in Sunways Extreme Park. Don't worry, no surgical tools neither, just an ATV. Because I'm not just going to have a chit chat with him, I'll be ripping through this jungle terrain with him as well. So I better get as much practice as I can before he gets here. Bang, bang, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, ah, oh my gosh! Okay. Ooh. Okay, that was fun. So Zamri, let's have a little chit chat. When was it you first found out you wanted to be a racer, and how did it all begin? Sebenarnya saya tak jangka saya boleh menjadi seorang pelumba yang profesional lah sampai ke tahap hari ni. Uh, pada mulanya uh, cuma uh, hobi, uh, minat pada motosikal. Dari pada situ lah saya. Uh, berjinak uh, ke Lita Lumba uh, sekali ingus uh, rasa seronok lah ketika menunggang motor sekali di Lita yang kekal well, What age were you when you first started? Uh, when you first, first realised? Uh, secara tak langsung uh, saya mula daripada umur 18 lah uh, lepas uh, daripada mengambil uh, kedudukan uh, peperiksaan SPM Was it hard to break into the racing scene? When was your first professional race and how was it? Sebenarnya susah nak mencapai tahap orang kata taruh satu label aa, ke atas diri kita selaku pelumba profesional lah. Aa, pada mulanya saya aa, masuk kepada tim yang profesional. So saya belum lagi di label profesional. Aa, banyaklah aa, ada kadang sampai give up rasa macam nak berhenti aa, sebab tekanan tu terlalu tinggi lah bagi saya. And now you're doing so well. You're racing in both the Cup 3 and the ARRC. So besides the bikes and the speed, what is the other biggest difference between these two championships? Sebenarnya saya nak sampai ke tahap ni saya kena uh, taruh satu azam lah. Uh, untuk uh, daripada segi stamina adalah yang paling utama bagi saya. Disiplin nombor dua, uh, nombor tiga adalah pemakanan. Uh, daripada situlah saya uh, mula belajar dan uh, saya dibekalkan oleh orang kata apa tenaga-tenaga pengajar daripada Jepun, Australia yang banyak mengajar teknik dan cara mengendalikan motosikal yang laju seperti di Asia Road Racing. Oh, is there a difference being in a racing circuit with just Malaysian riders and international riders? Bagi saya tak ada bezanya kerana dua-dua adalah satu orang kata peningkatan atau dia orang menunjukkan skill tunggangan yang cukup baik cuma pendedahan tu uh, diberi peluang sebenarnya. Uh, saya berpeluang untuk uh, ke Asia. Sebenarnya ramai lagi pelumba Malaysia yang berbakat cuma mereka tak berpeluang lah seperti saya untuk ke peringkat Asia. Yeah, and you did so well. I remember you raced in the famed Moto2 as a wild card in 2010. And after the race, you stood at the pit wall and waved to all of your fans at the Malaysian MotoGP, right? Remember that? Because yeah, yeah. I was there and I remember every time you went past the street, Everybody on the grandstand will be on their feet. How did that feel to you? Ah, sebenarnya, <laughs> ah, sebenarnya susah lah ah, untuk ke, saya menyertai kejohanan MotoGP itu banyak ah, rintangan yang saya kena hadapi, dugaan, ah, cabaran demi cabaran, ah, selection. Ah, barulah saya dapat ah, dipilih untuk mewakili seluruh ah, pelumba di Malaysia kepada mereka yang menyokong masa di skate sepang tempoh hari pada pelumbang MotoGP saya ucapkan uh, ribuan terima kasih dan saya mengharapkan uh, anda semua teruslah menyokong pelumbang-pelumbang seperti saya dan rakan-rakan yang lain. 
Yeah, and in 2011, you raced again in Moto2 as a wildcard. So was it easier for you racing in the same category for the second time? Uh, 2011, saya agak terpanjat di mana saya masih diberi peluang. Uh, sebenarnya, mereka meletak uh, sasaran kepada Hafiz dan Azlan. Mungkin Azlan uh, belum bersedia untuk uh, menyaut uh, cabaran untuk kategori Moto2. So, saya sekali lagi lah dipilih kerana saya masih uh, mengharapkan peluang itu diberi kepada saya. Mm, okay, let's go off track a little bit. Okay, If you were not a racer, what other profession do you think you'd be doing? Oh, Sebenarnya saya uh, lebih cenderung lah kepada bisnes. Habis saya punya kerjaya, seorang pelumba mungkin saya ada mempunyai sebuah restoran atau syarikat. You can have a MotoGP restaurant. Uh, itu team dia. <laughs> okay, um, as a rider, what do you think is the three most important things that a rider must have to be a professional racer? Uh, first, kena ada disiplin lah. Disiplin adalah yang penting utama. Tak ada disiplin, semua tak boleh jadi. Uh, kedua adalah tanggungjawab, pemakanan. Itu semua harus dijaga. Yeah, okay. Um, in your spare time, what do you do as a hobby? Saya banyak habiskan kepada uh, off-road lah di mana saya suka pada motocross dan mountain bike. I know on the race track a lot of your fans will be screaming your name, Razamri. How about in shopping malls, you know, when they spot you in a shopping mall, do they come up to you as well? Ada juga uh, dua tiga orang uh, tegur di shopping mall mungkin tu uh, peminat lah suka bermotor saya rasa Rata-rata, uh, kalau saya pergi uh, wedding or dinner, tak ada yang tegur, saya rasa saya lebih selesa lah, uh, okay. macam tu. But you are the idol to a lot of Malaysians out there. But who would you say is your idol and why? Uh, saya lebihkan kepada, saya lebih uh, suka kepada Ben Spies lah. Yeah. Sebab saya pernah uh, lihat dia depan mata, saya tengok dia lebih cool, relax. That's like your style juga lah, you know, cool uh, and relaxed. Mungkin uh, boleh dicontohi lah. Ya. Oh, even your son also have a little Ben Spies motorbike. <laughs> It's so cute. Okay, um, what do you think about us continuing our ATV race? Ken? Okay. okay. Okay, very good. But before that, thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to catch us again next week. I'm Julie Woon, signing off from Sunways Extreme Park. Okay, let's go. Come, Julie. Ayah, macam mana? And I'm Will Kwa, reminding you to log on to www.petmask.com.my for more info on your favourite teams, drivers and race results.